This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Well, it sure wasn't easy, but for the first time as an FBS member, the Flames have an FBS road win. Tonight in Albuquerque, Liberty survives the comeback bid by New Mexico. Final score, Flames 52, Lobos 43 here at Dreamstyle Stadium. What a wild game it was. It was a tale of two halves. I'm going to take you back through some of the highlights here early on. Flames fell behind. Pretty much out of the, the shoot here tonight as New Mexico got on the board first with a 19-yard touchdown run from Tyrone Owens. That will make it 7-0 Lobos, but then it was all flames going forward as Liberty on its first drive caps things off with a Frankie Hickson two-yard touchdown run. Hickson filling in for the con injured Contori Matthews here tonight. That would tie things up at 7. Flames would add another rushing touchdown from Peyton Pickett a little later in the first quarter, and then it was Damian King with the Touchdown grab here from Buckshot Calvert. That would put the Flames up 21-7 at the end of the first quarter. Flames up 21-10 in the second quarter when Antonio Gandy-Golden would haul in this touchdown grab from Buckshot Calvert. It was his only touchdown of the night, but by far not his biggest catch. That grab would put the Flames up 28-10. Liberty would go on to lead 42-10 at the intermission. Second half, though, New Mexico was not done. Going with backup quarterback Sharon Jones filling in for the injured Tuioti, who went down in the first half. New Mexico would answer this 79-yard touchdown pass to Patrick Reed. That would make it 42-16. Lobos would botch the extra point attempt. New Mexico would cut it to 42-23 after a four-yard touchdown pass from Sharon Jones here to Delaney Hart-Johnson. That'll make it again 42-23. Lobos would have to settle for the PAT. And the Lobos scored 19 unanswered points to make this a 42-29 ball game. Fourth quarter, though, the Flames would respond with a huge drive. Two big grabs here from Antonio Gandy. Golden over on the sideline. Just wrestles the ball away from the defender. That would set the Flames up to cap this drive with a four-yard touchdown run from Peyton Pickett. That would make it 49-29. Flames trying to pull away here in a shootout. A little more than five minutes to go. Lobos driving again. It's Owens again. Three-yard touchdown run to finish the drive. His second touchdown of the ball game. He finished with 93 yards on the ground. That would make it 49-43. Flames driving, though, inside of two minutes. And on a fourth down, the Flames decide to go ahead and kick the 22-yard field goal from Aaron Peart. That would make it a nine-point ball game, and the Flames would hold on for the win. 52-43 in a wild one. Flames also had four takeaways in this ball game as well. Four interceptions, two of them for Isaac Steele including this one here to seal the win for the Flames with New Mexico driving at the end of the ball game. Again, just a huge night for the Flames to be able to survive this one and come away with a big emotional win. Again, Antonio Gandy-Golden, 11 catches tonight, 245 yards. That was a school record for him. We caught up with AGG and some of the other Flames after the ball game. The emotional, the emotional game. We wanted to win. We knew we had to. Uh... Just going into this year, we knew we had a lot to prove, and just coming out and playing a team like this uh, is everything we've been working for since the summer up until now, every week. We just knew we had to win this game. We're, we're all, we've all been very team-oriented this year. We want to help each other out, and us working together and just coming together as brothers, just, I don't know, it just brings out that extra emotion. We came out strong. We knew what we had to do through the week, and then we came out, and then we seemed to, you know, we came and crushed them in the beginning, and then... Uh, little nicks and little bruises and cramps came into play and that was just hard and we didn't we didn't know how to feel for that but everybody else came in a lot of people rotated people switched around you know and I feel like that was great for us and we just never quit even when new people came in the game they just was like I'm ready a lot of great things happened but I think uh, them getting the turnovers we hadn't been getting turnovers the last two ball games and so that was huge to see our guys uh, get the interceptions, make some plays. They made the plays when I had to make them, and it's a, it's a great team win. Uh, you can just say special teams, we won that battle. Great job there. We finally made a call. We said, uh, let's go after the block, uh, and uh, Corbin Jackson made a great job and made the block. So, uh, again, when we had to make plays, we had to make them in every phase of the game, and uh, that's the difference in the ball game is I think we uh, won every uh, phase of the game.